Welcome to another edition of the Library Marketing Show. I'm Angela Hirsch from superlibrarymarketing.com and my mission is to help you with your library marketing to make it easy and effective. This week I want to talk a little bit about something that I hope your library is doing in the middle of this coronavirus crisis and that is helping people escape. We've talked a lot about sharing your digital resources and your e-resources with your community but I wanna take a, just a moment to talk about how the library can help people to escape the crisis right now with pleasure reading. This is something that my friend Cleo Jones from Edinburgh, Scotland talked about at Edge 2020. She calls reading for pleasure fairy dust. And I think that's particularly important right now when we have so much bad news and so much anxiety and depression. We're worried about the mental health of our patrons. We need to make sure that we're sharing with them books and ebooks and audiobooks that are going to help them escape. And I want you to think about why you fell in love with reading, because I assume that you do, because you work in a library. I certainly did as a youngster, and it was because of that escape element of books. And I saw an article in the New York Times this week from a woman named Jordan Kister, and she just came out with a book full of short essays. And I really love this quote in the um, article, it said, I fell in love with books because they were a passport to other places and lives. I think that's really important to keep in mind for our patrons right now. I'm going to share some places where you can get lists of books that are really great escape books. That's funny memoirs, that's adventure books that have nothing to do with pandemics or crisis or anything so that you can offer your patrons just a way to take a few minutes a day or more reading and to escape the crisis. Speaking of which, I have a free micro training with Library Aware and Novelist that's happening next Tuesday. It's about going live for readers advisory on social media. That's like Facebook and Instagram and YouTube. I would really love it if you were there. It's only gonna take 15 minutes. You can register, just go to superlibrarymarketing.com and click on the upcoming events tab. All right, we do have kudos this week and that goes to the Shiloh Library in State College, Pennsylvania. A lot of libraries, of course, are doing amazing things to help their patrons who are stuck at home. Shlow has kind of taken this a step further. We know that libraries are one of the only free public spaces to have meetings and other events um, when they're open. So what happens when the physical building is closed? Shlow has opened up seven Zoom meetings that people can reserve and a library staff member helps them set it up. They even get everybody in and get everyone situated. And then they step out so that people can have a meeting on Zoom using a library resource without a library staff member listening into what they say. So I wanted to give kudos to Shlo for taking that extra step. If you have a topic that you would like me to cover in an upcoming episode of the Library Marketing Show, or you have kudos to share, please go to superlibrarymarketing.com and click on the Library Marketing Show tab. Thanks to my daughter, Ella, who's running the camera today so that I can do hands-free outside. And uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.